Hey guys, it's Dr. Krad here, and today I will be showing you a video of smile surgery. Smile surgery is a type of surgery to help get rid of glasses or contacts for people who are nearsighted with or without astigmatism. The patient is asked to look at this green blinking light and they can see it the whole time throughout the procedure. The laser creates two planes of dissection, the deep one or posterior layer, which it's creating right now, and then it creates a second plane of dissection in front of or anterior to the first plane. So together you created this disc or frisbee shaped amount of corneal tissue that you can remove. The white haze you see is a sheet of air bubbles within the cornea. On the bottom of the screen is a white arc, which is an incision that allows us access to remove the disc of tissue. Now the suction from the laser was automatically turned off, so the laser portion is completely done, and we are going to position the microscope to remove the disc of tissue. Smile is like laser liposuction of the cornea. We remove a precise amount of tissue from the center of your cornea, making the cornea skinnier. This new shape of the cornea focuses your vision. Unlike PRK or LASIK, we are preserving the anterior most part of the cornea, which is important for the biomechanical stability of the cornea. There is less dry eye potential since we're cutting through less corneal nerves. There is also no flap and therefore no flap related complications that can occur. It's a really clever procedure for those who are good candidates and want to get rid of their glasses or contact lenses. So here we are going to open the incision that gives us access to the disc of tissue we created. The patient's eye is numb and they don't feel any of this. During the dissection, it's very important to keep track of which plane you're in, either the top or anterior plane or the bottom deep posterior plane. So here I'm swiping across to create a plane in the anterior portion. And then on the right side, I create a pocket for the posterior portion. So, I know, so now I know on the left side, if I enter the incision, I'll be on the anterior or front plane. And so I'm gonna break all the little adhesions that remain after all those little air bubbles are created by the laser. And I'm just going gently, carefully, going all the way across the anterior or top plane of the dissection. Now that I dissected that, I'm going to enter the posterior or deep plane. And I go first to the right. I'm going to leave a little tag in the center on the top. And then I'm going to dissect on the left side of the deep plane. And then I'm going to break that tag and slide the disc of tissue out. Next, I will use some tissue forceps to remove the disc of corneal tissue. I want to grab a good amount of the disc of tissue so that I don't tear it. You want to avoid leaving behind any tags of tissue. And here it comes out pretty easily. Then I put the tissue on the front of the cornea because I want to make sure that it's a complete circle and that I didn't accidentally leave behind a segment of tissue. So we open that up and confirm that the disc of tissue is complete. The disadvantages of SMILE are the following. In the USA, we can't correct as wide of a range of prescriptions when comparing to LASIK. So less people are a candidate when compared to LASIK. Most LASIK centers don't offer SMILE because it requires a very specific type of laser. There is a slightly slower recovery when compared to LASIK. The difference is usually small, a matter of days, where smile patients may notice a very slight steamy or foggy effect in their vision. There is also no topography guided option at this point, unlike LASIK. This procedure is definitely one to look into if you're considering getting rid of your glasses or contact lenses. This is my patient the day after the surgery and they were thrilled. We chose smile because the patient was concerned about potential flap related complications and worsening dry eye. They didn't even notice the steamy, foggy vision in the first day that I warned them about. Of course, not everyone is a candidate for laser vision correction. Some people need another procedure like Evo ICL or refractive lens exchange. I thank you so much for your attention. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.